And today we're going to look at the emotional landscape of the character that we are portraying in our monologue. So the first thing I need to say is that in order for an actor to portray or be a mirror to society or to his audience, in order for him to be a catalyst for the audience to experience catharsis, he needs to be as honest with himself as he possibly can. That means that you need to do an immense amount of self uh, or rather introspection, self-study, uh, so that you know what your weaknesses are, what your strengths are, in order not to judge a character that you are portraying. And that is one of the most essential parts of approaching a role, is that you never criticize or judge your character. You know what his function is, either as the villain or the good guy, but in order to really sink into the character, you need to find similarities between yourself and the character that you can fuse. So, for instance, with Salieri, now this is a character that is very far removed from myself, but also not. I do not know a lot about music. So what I need to do is I need to listen to a great deal of music and really find the same sort of passion within myself about music that Salieri is. If it's not music, there's other parts of my personality that I can explore. For instance, I love movies, I love theater, and I love acting. So in that regard, I, as an actor, I also know that I can access a lot of the insecurities that Salieri has. So when you are sort of grappling with the emotional uh, reactions of the character, you need, to, you need to find what makes sense to you. And those that don't, I think, take some time to really think about it. And this is not a mathematical situation. It's not a scientific process. Um, we underestimate how much time is needed to just sit down and think about it and perhaps even open up conversations with other people about it. Um, it's a very vulnerable position to put yourself in, but that is where the bravery in acting lies, is going inside and really looking at yourself. So, having said that without getting too esoteric about it, I read through the play, I read through my monologue a couple of times, and I have, through my text analysis, as I mentioned yesterday, identified three major themes. Professional jealousy, resentment towards God, and insecurities and an inferiority complex in relation to talent and skill. Now, like I said, it's a bit difficult to portray these massively vague themes um, because that is essentially what your character is being used for, what your character is a symbol for, but how can you make that an active emotion to portray? So as an actor, obviously I'm very insecure about my talent and I'm very insecure about um, am I as good as that one or, and these are very um, general feelings amongst artists. So also when you feel like somebody else is given more of an opportunity, that sort of very childish, very immature part of you comes out and we all try to sort of reject it and not think about it. But what Amadeus and Peter Schaffer ask you to do is confront it. And how would those things normally be expressed? Now, I've done some thinking and I've distilled it to anger, bitterness, and guilt. Because essentially what happens is Salieri pushes Mozart to the brink of madness. And it's only at the end of his life that he now has to face that guilt. 
But now, like I said, my monologue is at the very beginning of the play. So I can't walk on stage going, or, <laughs> you know. Um, and I, I think this might not be age appropriate, and I hope most of you don't know what I'm talking about, but when you're playing drunk on stage, the number one advice is always to try and not be drunk because a person who is under the influence of alcohol um, tries not to come across as drunk. So it's a lot more interesting than walking around with the emotions on your sleeve to sort of negotiate and navigate those emotions to try and not show them, but have them sort of seep through in unexpected ways. Because we are very um, apprehensive to show these weaknesses in ourselves: anger, guilt, bitterness. You know, these are not things that we like to, to tell people that we experience because they're not considered good emotions. So I've decided that when portraying my monologue in Salieri, I'm going to conceal it and find interesting ways of maybe in a word, in a glance, in a gesture, to give a taste of what is to come in the play. Thank you.